प्रेज द लॉर्ड जय यीशु बोलो प्रभु यीशु क्रिस्त की इन दिस अर्ली मॉर्निंग इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन एवेंजुअलाइजेशन sanctification and empowerment the holy spirit in our personal life is very important is to cleanse cleanse our inner self and empower our inner self so jesus at the last at the last supper jesus took away his outer garment and took a linen cloth around him and became like a slave and began to cleanse cleanse wash the apostles that is symbolized symbolically it is the mystery of salvation the sacrament he is going to institute and the apostles who are going to become priests the priestly life is a life of holiness that is the holiness of god he wants to give to us that is called sanctification sanctification is not simply washing our uncleanness but it is divinizing divinizing that divine life is poured into us through the grace of god so what is grace grace is participation of god's life into human life can you show your both hands like this your left hand is our human nature right hand is divine nature god's life so god through his incarnation passion death and resurrection have given his divine life come on come on like this god's divine life entering into man's weak sinful human life and what will happen what will happen god transform man so man become god man become god man is divinized so that is called sanctification so let us focus to the most holy trinity already in us so we have received all these thing through baptism confirmation and the holy eucharist we all receive this but then <laughs> we have to work it out we can be holy we can be filled with the grace of god we can be filled with the love of god so that is we can call a personal intimacy personal prayer so now as we sing this bhajan pavane atma andaryami when we sing this repeatedly you make a prayer internally in your silence you chant this hymn and cry internally desire internally to cleanse you from all your uncleanliness and to fill us with the grace with the love with joy with power okay shall we pray that yeah so keep a hand on your heart and we start as we sing this make bhavanatma andar yami prabhu hai the indwelling trinity the indwelling holy spirit oh holy spirit fill me fill me fill me bhavanatma
प्यासा हो जाओ प्यासा हो जाओ हे प्रभु पवित्र आत्मा ओ होली स्पिरिट फिल मी होली स्पिरिट फिल मी विद योर ग्रेस फिल मी विद योर पावर 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 फिल इट स्ट्रांग your love in our heart with your peace in our heart with your wisdom wisdom Practical aspect of our life, very, very practical aspect. 
That is what Jesus did on the Last Supper. Before he began the Last Supper, rather, institution of the sacraments, institution of the priesthood. Now that is our call. And also the religious, we are all united with the priesthood of Jesus. The priesthood of Jesus is he himself is the sacrifice. He's not only a person, priest, who is offering the sacrifice, but he is the victim of the sacrifice. He is the lamb. I tell you a funny story. I am not I am not a man who makes jokes and fun, but <laughs> I am not good in that. You know, in Europe there is a there is a there is a norm in the Easter for Easter preaching, first there must be a joke that is called Easter joke. The reason is all the 40 days we have been very much focusing on the uh, way of the cross and sad things. So suddenly we cannot come to the Easter. So everybody on the Easter night preaching, they make a joke. So all the priests, that is why many priests, when you read the when you read the training of homely, most of the homely, some of the priests may crack a joke first. Hmm. But anyway, I am not of that habit. But I want to say now a joke for the understanding of the holiness and praising. You know, this is a king and the minister going for a hunting in the in the forest and while they were walking in the forest a sharp stone hit on the or the king's foot hit with a sharp stone or a some element and his leg wounded and blood was coming out. So the minister, <laughs> the minister saw this and he said, praise the Lord. He said, yeah. <laughs> praise the Lord. So the, the king became angry. My leg is hurt. I am feeling pain. Blood is coming and you are, you are praising God. What is this? And in that anger, this king got so angry, he took this minister and threw him in a pit. In a pit. What minister you are? You are praising God when I am hurt with my leg is bleeding. And then the king was going alone in the forest. So some of the forest people who are a different type of people, they were looking for an animal for the sacrifice. So when they found this animal, who, the king, <laughs> they don't know anything who is king and all those things. They are jungle low forest. They caught him. We got a good animal for sacrifice. And he said, I am king. They don't understand even the language. They tied the king and brought to their sacrifice table, telling them we got a very good animal to sacrifice. And their priests, their priests came 
to perform the sacrifice and he noticed these kings, these animals so called which is brought for the offering, the sacrificial offering but that animal that is the king's leg is bleeding. So their priests say, oh no, this is not suitable for sacrifice because this sacrifice is not holy. Already his leg is bleeding. So throw him out. So that the king was saved. He, so they did not sacrifice him. Instead, he could, he could go away. Now he realized because of the bleeding, the wound of bleeding, his life was saved. Now he began to say, praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord of, because of that wound and bleeding, his life was saved. Now only he realized the meaning why that man was telling praise the Lord. He also started telling praise the Lord my leg was hurt and bleeding because of that I am saved from this sacrifice. And now he went in search of the minister whom he thrown into the pit. Then he went and searched him, he found him. He said, my dear, what you did, what you said was right. I would have been killed because my leg was already wounded. These jungly people have set me free. Praise the Lord. Now the minister said, praise the Lord, you throw me into the pit. Otherwise they would have caught me and made a sacrifice. <laughs> Therefore, praise the Lord. The joke is not good. Nobody is laughing. Very serious joke, eh? I told you I am not good in saying joke. Okay. The point, the two points we have to bring home. One is, in all circumstances, praise the Lord. In all circumstances. Say everybody, in all circumstances, what should we do? Praise the Lord. And second thing, any sacrifice need before that a sanctification, cleansing. So if you are to be a priest, if you are to be a religious, we are called, even though, even though we are called, we are called, but we are sinful people. Living among the sinful people. But God is pleased to sanctify us and cleanse us. That is the first thing God is doing for us. The Lord wants to make us holy. Holiness. Nowhere else we can get the holiness. Can we get from a supermarket? Give me one glass of holiness. We can't get. Holiness is the work of Holy Spirit. The work of grace. Now in catechism, what is grace? Paragraph, you can note down the number. 1,997 1,997 <laughs> Oh my God, my book is 1,997 Grace is participation in the life of God. We often say Kriba, Kriba, 
What is grace? Grace is participation in the life of God. It introduces into the intimacy of the Trinitarian life. By baptism, the Christian participate in the grace of Christ. So Christ himself is the grace. That is why we say, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, love of God and the fellowship of Holy Spirit be with you. So Hamesham, in our in our liturgy, we have often this praying Pavan 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 Kardo. That means holy, holy, holy is the Lord. And Kesu Masika Kribavaradan. Param Pitaka Prem Mahan Divyatma Ki Sahacharita Sant Hamarire So this is the doxology. That is, the first thing is the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. So Jesus himself is grace because he is God and man is God and man. Divine and human. So, Jesus, the grace is the participation in the life of God. So, when that grace poured into our sinful heart, our sinful mind, it perch, it perch. See, like now, see. Now our heart is dark. But the light, when the light comes, what will happen? Darkness goes away. We don't have to push the darkness. Oh, darkness, you go. Oh, sinfulness, you go. It will not go. Sinfulness and the darkness can go only through the grace, only through the light, only through the divine work of God, through the word of God, through the spirit of God. So we are living in, the, in a, although we are holy through baptism, but still we are living in a world filled with a lot of darkness. Once I was in Bangalore giving a retreat to a religious congregation. So the provincial superior said, Brother, can you pray for our lotus pond? Our lotus pond, lotus are not growing in our pond. Can you pray? Oh, yes. <laughs> Why not? A lotus is a wonderful, beautiful flower. So when uh, they took me to the inside of their cloister, they show me the pond. I said, hello, sisters. You made the lotus pond so clean. In this pond, lotus cannot grow. Don't you know that? The lotus need the dirt, dirt. Lotus can grow only in a dirty pond. 
So the lotus is not growing in your pond because you made the pond such a mosaic flooring, clean water. You just put some dirt, some slush in it. That's all. This is a Christian spirituality. What is Christian spirituality? A Christian lives in a dirty world, but there is no dirt in him. The lotus lives in a dirty pond, but the lotus comes up above that water, so clean, so beautiful. There is no dirt in the lotus. There is no dirt in the lotus. So, a Christian life is we are holy and living in an unholy contest of the world. So, in the Psalm 23, Psalm 23, we sing, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want anything. He leads me to green pastures. He leads me to safe waters. You restore my strength. You guide me along the right path for the sake of your name. Now, next. Even when I walk through the dark valley, I fear no harm. For you are at my side. Even when I walk through the dark valley, that is the whole world is like a dark valley. Still not clean. So in our whole life, although we are chosen to be holy, but we are living in a dark valley. Every day there is so much possibilities for the impurities to come in. Therefore we need every day a cleansing. That is exactly Jesus chose the ceremonial cleansing of the Jewish culture. Ceremonial, I don't say ceremonial. The culture, the Jewish culture is, that is everybody's culture, not only Jewish. When we are at home, suppose you go out in the garden or in the field, when we come in, we wash our foot. Correct? Because our foot our feet is ugly. So, in Jewish custom, there are slaves employed for that with a special jar of water at the, at the gate so that when the master comes in, the slave will go there and wash his foot with the water to clean, to make him holy. Then only he comes in. Jesus took that as a very important ministry, ministry of holiness, ministry of sanctification, the Paschal mystery through all the sacraments. All the sacraments are for our sanctification, baptism, confirmation, Eucharist, confession, all sacraments are for our sanctification. But not only at the moment of the sacrament, but the sanctification we must do every day, every moment. Whenever you go out, when you come in, you must cleanse. So, to make the matter short, in our life with the Lord, in our daily life in evangelization, if we have to work the charisms in us, if we have to work the power of God in us, first we need a sanctification. So in the Holy Mass, we have penitential rite, we have, even after Holy Communion, we pray, soul of Christ, sanctify me water from the side of Christ, wash me. So
so in hebrew chapter 914 says in hebrews chapter 914 or 13 and 14 in the old testament if by sprinkling of the of of the blood if they could wash they could cleanse how much more the blood of christ will cleanse us 9 13 and 14 hebrews chapter 9 13 and 14 for if the blood of gods and bulls and the sprinkling of heifers ashes can sanctify those who are defiled so that their flesh is cleansed how much more will the blood of christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself unblemished to god cleanse our consciences from dead works to worship the living god you know when i began to i began to wash my inner self then only i realized the parable of sower sowing the seeds jesus famous parable the parable of sower sowing the seeds some seeds fell on the pathway some seeds fell on the rock some seeds fell on the thorny ground some seeds fell on the good soil we can see in around us a farmer when he want to plant a paddy field what did he do he make the field prepare for it then only the planting is possible the same way in our heart every day we need a cleansing so particularly for the charisms to work charisms are in us but why it is not working we can see vision we can hear the voice of god but if our inner senses are filled with so many bad voice so many bad things we have seen we need to sanctify so when jesus himself become like a slave and wanted to wash the foot of the apostles as a beginning of the sacrament of priesthood very important sacrament of priesthood is for sanctification then peter said no 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 please don't you don't wash my feet i don't allow you wash me <laughs> and jesus said if you don't if i do not wash you you have no part with me if i do not wash you you have no intimacy with me you cannot have an intimacy with me now imagine if this in this if i have to keep this now there is a contact if this contact if there is something in between here then there is no contact see i cannot unless we remove this so any foreign particle between our soul and god this is our soul this is god if god want to sit in our soul our soul must be holy any foreign particle then we cannot get a contact that's what jesus said unless i cleanse you you have no inheritance with me i tell you in my life this was a big victory i spend more than an hour in purifying myself 
sanctifying myself so we have to focus god who is in us is waiting to sanctify us and we can sanctify we can offer our soul our mind our conscience our memories our thinking and then we pray sanctify me lord our unconscious mind subconscious mind soul of christ sanctify me sanctify me that is the song i have written sanctify me oh lord cleanse my body mind and soul purify me and make me whole now come on quickly go inside our heart and believe the lord is waiting to cleanse us you offer our soul our mind our conscience oh holy spirit wash me oh jesus wash me cleanse me with your grace everybody sanctify me oh lord cleanse my body mind and soul purify me and make me whole sanctify me lord now you will you when you go deep within you you will find many bad memories many bad thoughts many things which are actually making us unholy oh holy spirit cleanse me holy spirit the films and the pictures we have seen the songs we have heard the talks or the bitter experiences you had from people the hurting words the painful words the painful memories go oh, holy spirit purify me holy spirit purify me purify me purify me holy spirit sanctify me and then you will come across some certain area where you have to forgive yes i forgive you i am sorry for what i have done and once we did some purification cleansing then we have to do the filling 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 with the holy spirit holy spirit not only cleanses but fill us with the fruit of the spirit love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self control fill me fill me fill me and also wisdom knowledge understanding 
wisdom, knowledge, understanding. And also all the charisms, gift of healing, gift of prayer, gift of preaching, gift of vision, gift of interpretation of the vision. Oh, whatever charisms fill me. And also gift of faith, hope and love, the theological virtues. Faith, hope and love, fill me, fill me, fill me. So this is a short model of prayer, which is very important for our daily holiness. Now we are going, let us make a, let us, before we go for the breakfast, let us make a, Praise, thank you God. Come on everybody, praise you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Shandala, halabala, halabala, halabala. Shandala, halabala, halabala, halabala. Shandala, halabala, balabala, 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 balabala. Oh Holy Spirit. Fill us, Holy Spirit, everybody. Oh, Holy Spirit, fill us, Holy Spirit. Empower us, Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, let's go for breakfast and we come back. We come back 8.45, 8.45. Thank you.